This is Matt Farin, Two Boxing. I'm delighted for the first time to be joined by Ruan Farrell. Thank God I pronounced your name right because I've been panicking. Um, talk to me how you're feeling. You're dusting your open workout. You're on the Michael Conlon undercard. Huge fight for you on Saturday, but how are you feeling? Feeling good, feeling confident. Everything's went well, training's went well. So on Saturday night, it's all up to me to do the job. So what a card to be on too, Michael Conlon. So I can't wait, I'm buzzing. Not just that, but it's here in Belfast. What does it mean to you to be fighting in a city like this? Um, you know, home, home city, you know. How, what what does it feel for you? It feels amazing. So it does, because my last two fights have been on like a small hall show, where it's only been like about 500 people. So it's going to be about at least 10,000 people in the arena. And I'm going to get that on TV as well. So it's going to be amazing. It's going to be electric. I can't make, make my ring walk. Now, you don't normally get this where we get two young undefeated fighters going at it. You normally have a situation where this, they build your records up before you're throwing in. But you and Colm are going in there and going, hey, what do you think that says about the Perry that we're willing to risk it this early on? We just, we just want to fight, you know what I mean? We both want a, a win for both of us, could be massive. But what's the point saying no and having a potted record and fighting journeymen? Because journeymen don't hit you back. So he's beat me twice in the amateurs. So all the pressure is on him. So I'm going to do the job Saturday night and bring my title back home. That's what I was just about to say. You, I was going to say, do you know Colm? And it's, you've just seen you know him from the amateurs. Any bad blood or is it just a case of the full reset? I saw you sort of give each other a bit of a pat to say, oh, good luck. No, no bad blood. Before we'd done the workout, we show cans. We had a chat. But after Friday, it's business. And then after the fight, we'll have a paint. But there's no disrespect, no bad blood. But just want to fight. And he's in my way and he, I'm in his way. How do you see the fight planning out from a stylistic point of view? Do you believe you'll be... He's coming to knock me out, but I, I just want to win. I've stuck to my game plan. If my being on goes well, I'm going to box ears him. Like, that's my plan, you know what I mean? Now, so being in Belfast, uh, Mick Conlon's headline, and he's coming back for knockout defeat. Can I get your opinion on him? He's obviously, in his last fight, he was perfect for nearly the last 19 seconds. Um, we had a, this one maybe even out more and box more instead of going in for the kill, he probably would have won that fight, but one lucky shot and it changed the whole fight, so I can't wait to see Michael Collin fight and get straight back in the world title mix, I'm looking forward to it. Is he someone you looked up to coming through the ranks, someone, because he's sort of putting Ireland on the map with what he's doing. He was one of the people, but mostly it was Ram Burnett. Yeah. I, I watched Ram Burnett. Oh, by the way, Shout Great. Out. I watched Ram Burnett win his world title in the Odyssey, I watched him unificate it. I also trained with him, the one the ones, he's my brother's best mate, so it's, he was always my role model growing up and uh, he's made me like show me what what you can do if you chase your dream to fight in the Odyssey. Right, just before we go, tell the fans what we can expect from you this Saturday night. Their boy's going to win instead. There's a new, a new champion in town. <laughs> Ruan, I appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to Into Boxing and good luck Saturday night. Thank you very much. All the best.